when you wake up. I'm literally, literally, literally just woke up. And there's a huge wet pee pee stain in the bed, which means my son peed in the bed. But he's nowhere to be found. Usually he's my wake up call, so I didn't get that. Your man is doing laundry. You want her? I'm lost. Where's my man? Where's my baby? I'm lost. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm blessed. That's good. You woke up another day, huh? Woke up another day. It's 11 o'clock already, which means daylight savings hit. Yeah. You know, it was a good Sunday. So where's my baby? I don't know. He not with you? Where y'all at? We in these streets. Where y'all go? Target. What y'all go to Target for? Without me? That says it has a for sale sign for ten ninety nine. This nigga. This nigga always trying to get a deal. What you in there buying? Um, laundry detergent. I wanted some carpet freshener. You too late? I'm already in line, sorry. So cold in here. But now that I established where my kid is, I got to boo boo in person, which I got one fat baby. I got one fat baby. Ah. Who's that in that kitchen? Who's in that other chicken? It's your mama. It's your mama. So I was about to say I get to enjoy some coffee in peace and then the doorknob turned. So I get to enjoy some coffee. I don't need to make my coffee. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Your daddy did me dirty. Your daddy's shady. They created this policy where they don't need a manager override. It's five hours, D. I know that, but I'm just Man. saying. Niggas like you that abuse the system knows hot food. It's hot. Did you have breakfast? You have breakfast? Mm -hmm. You want an egg? We just popped up out of here. Smoke some weed. Hit Target. You know how we do right here. Take an egg so I can make us an egg. Your mama said it's on the birthday. You ain't gonna get open it. If you lie, I'm wrapping it. Dirty, bro. She don't you dirty, bro. You know how disappointing it is when your birthday comes and you have nothing to open? You buy more stuff. Alright, give me a motherfucking card. Let's go. First, let me have something love. You really? Mommy's gonna cut it up for you. Huh. I'll put it with your eggs. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> When you ain't got nothing to put on your ass in the morning, you're gonna figure out how to wash. Oh, I agree 100%. 100%. You Don't you pick up shit. I, what I just said. Stop. D, you juicy, you D? You have fun on our little Target extravaganza? Like you did. Kind of shady because somebody just got caught stealing. Okay, so I'm looking at car seats because I'm going to purchase the baby a car seat probably next week. Um, or I could purchase it today, but I want to go and look around at other stores before I buy. Um, originally, because he has Brightex already, I wanted to get the Brightex um, car seat for the next step. But this is the one. I think this is the Marathon. Yeah, this is the Marathon. But I don't like it. And it is $250. This is another Brightex. And I don't, I don't know what it is, but I don't like it. Um, I prefer the more cushy ones. Like, you see how that one, I think that one is by Chico or I forgot how to pronounce it, but it's not pronounced Chico, I don't think. Um, but I like the more cushy ones that look like that opposed to that, but I also don't want to pay $350. Like this one is really cute. I'm just not trying to pay $300 for a um, car seat. So I don't know, tell me what you guys think. Like this is the Brightex one, Brightex Marathon. Um, and I was gonna get that, but in person I don't like it. I actually like the even flow better, but the only thing about the even flow is I don't like that color scheme. But I like the safety, or not, is it safety first? Yeah, safety first. I like that. I like the ones that look more thick and padded, like this is basically what I'm going for. Something that is comfortable looking, and it has to have the cup holders, like I like that. This one is the even flow and it has the cup holders. Whereas this is the Brightex and it doesn't have that. I'm sure you have to pay a million bucks to add it on. So, and even with these, I think these are more for bigger kids, but that's the Brightex and I don't really like it. I like the Graco one better. So right now, out of all the ones that I've seen, I like this one the most. But this one doesn't have a car seat. I mean, uh, or else it does. It has the um, cup holder right here. But I want it to where he can be able to reach it. I don't know why it's such a hard decision. It's just a car seat, right? As long as it keeps him safe. Right? I like this gray coat. Big one. And then those are all the baby infant ones. So, I don't know. We'll see what I come up with. But so far, I don't like most of them because I like um, the masculine opposed to like the kitty looking ones. So I just want one that's like all black and possibly with a hint of like red or something. But I don't want like blue or gray. And then I have to consider that he's going to get it dirty and eat in it. So I don't want it like the light gray material. He also needs a tray for his stroller. They never have them in stock here, um, or at least I can never find them, but I just want the tray so that I can put his snacks like on his stroller, if that makes any sense. But they never have them here, so I might have to order that online this week as well. This is the car seat and stroller, well, travel system that he has. Uh, so we'll see. I also need to look at... Um, High chairs because I hate his high chair. Uh -oh. Those are so chapped, but it's like an hour later and I'm just now leaving out. Spent way too much money. But I got some essentials. Derek needed some. I've been eating, but Derek and I and I both have been eating these. If you don't floss, floss. Take care of your teeth. I got 
Diamond and Isom sunscreen. This is my favorite sunscreen from like back in the day. You just spray it on like on your legs and your arms and all over your body. And it does bomb and it's SPF 100. And then I got Diamond one. Because usually he's protected as far as like his body. I, I keep him covered, but his legs get exposed. So I got him a sunscreen too. And his is SPF 55. I couldn't find anything higher than that for him, but he should be okay. And then this is my Holy Grail favorite, oops, my Holy Grail favorite facial soap, Cetaphil. Um, I took a break from it because um, I feel like I usually get the big bottle and by the time I go like get halfway through a bottle, like my skin gets used to it. So every now and again I have to like change up my um, routine and like switch this out for something else. But um, I've been switching it out with something Neutrogena, a deep pore cream from Neutrogena for like the last two or three months. And I've been missing this, so I'm gonna go back to it. But I got the smaller bottle because, like I said, I have to switch it out every now and again to um, keep my skin from getting used to it. I use this deodorant, and this is the reason I came to Target because I went to go um, twist mine up this morning to put some on, and I was completely out. And I'm not one of those people that can go without deodorant. So this is the one I use. I find that when I breastfeed, um, like if I'm breastfeeding physically and um, no matter how clean I am, my underarms seem to perspire when I breastfeed. So if I have deodorant on, I won't notice it. But like if I try to breastfeed like after taking a shower or something like that and I don't have any deodorant on, I can feel my underarms getting wet. I don't know I've never read anything about that like during my pregnancy and stuff so let me know if you guys are like that too but I'm finding these days since I breastfeed my dove and my secret like the regular ones no longer are keeping me protected all day which is why I upgraded to the clinical strength and this works perfect um, you know of course as long as I apply it but I can't go without it then of course this is my favorite um, brand especially during the winter time Derek and I both love the Dove um, he likes the one that's exfoliating and of course I like the ones that smell good um, I'm out of mine he still has a bunch of his left and I could have used his but I just figured pick another one up and this one smells good this is the Go Fresh is that the flavor I don't know, I think it's the Go Fresh flavor is what it's called, but these are bomb. Like, if you want your body to feel like you took a milk bath or something like that, these moisturize your skin like no other. So I recommend these highly over any other um, body wash, and I pretty much have tried every single one, but these are my favorite during the winter and the colder months. Even though it's warming up, I'm still loving this one. And then I've heard good things about the Nivea cream. Um... Lately, I've been hearing a lot about Nivea lately, so um, I didn't want to commit and get a big one because I seen that they had these for 99 cent, and it's basically a cream that people are saying it's bomb to use on your face. I don't have dry skin; I have oily combination skin, so I don't know if this is going to be too thick for my skin or if it would even work. But I think it was like 97 or 99 cent, so. I love trying things out when they have like a travel size for you to be able to see if you like it before you buy the big one. And lastly, I got Derek a bunch of these hangers. They're a four pack and he needed like, I think I got like five packs or something like that, but for his pants and his shorts. Um, yeah, that's it. That's all I got. These are major key. I would recommend you keep a couple of these in your purse because I know when I used to work, like after lunch, you get so irritated and you're sitting there picking at your teeth, trying to get stuff out. If you have one or two of these in the in your purse, problem solved. But I'm gonna run and grab me and Derek some. I don't know if this would be considered a late lunch or early dinner, but I want some El Pollo Loco Tostada. Um. Is this my thing or is there another one? Um, can I get one of your chicken tacos? I'm sorry, chicken tostadas? Okay, which one would you like today? The shredded chicken tostada. Can I get one of your chicken tacos? Yeah, 
Can I have that with no lettuce? And also, can I get the pinto beans on the side? Which chicken tostada did you say? The shredded chicken tostada? We don't have a shredded chicken tostada. Um, the shredded chicken that you put in the tacos, can I substitute, add that? Can I substitute for that? So you want a regular tostada with shredded chicken as well? Yes, please. Oh, okay. Okay, and then what else would you like? Um, also, can I get a shrimp, what is it, the lo the chili lime uh, toast? Oh, we don't have the chili lime shrimp anymore. Oh, no. Uh, okay, can I get the Baja shrimp? Baja shrimp tacos or burrito? The tostada. Oh, you want the bar shrimp tostada? Yeah, with no lettuce, please. With no lettuce? Yes. Okay, anything else? That'll be it. Okay, I'll return to the next one. Thank you. Thank you. Now, I just vouched for this El Pollo Loco, and I have a feeling they finna do me wrong. Don't you hate that? Don't you hate that? I have a feeling I'm gonna have to pull to the side, check my order, and it's gonna be wrong. My lips are so chapped. They've been chapped literally since yesterday morning. I need to do something with my life. I know he got my order wrong. He looks stupid. Alright, it's gonna be 13.93. You got no lettuce on both, right? On both of them, no lettuce? Yeah. And then the chicken one is no lettuce and the pinto beans are on the side. You didn't tell me that. Already. I did. <laughs> like I said, he didn't listen. Thank you. Have a good one. Take you care. too. Excuse me. Can I get one more creamy cilantro? There you go. Thank you. Have a good one. You Take too. Care. I respect him because he was nice still, even though he didn't hear me say that. He still, you know, was cool. He wasn't an asshole. I hate when they get mad because they didn't hear you. And they start acting like assholes. But it is raining. I don't know if you guys can see that on my windshield, but it's starting to sprinkle. Which probably means it's gonna rain tomorrow. No! Go, lady! Go! I hate dumbass people. Ain't nobody in the street. Damn. My pookie went to the store and got me some cookies and cream ice cream because I was craving a sweet treat. And then he came home and fail. <laughs> Show them your toe. <laughs> he broke his fall, quote unquote, but he did everything in his power to not fall. So he's in more pain than he would have been if he would have just fell. I'm a professional father because I'm professionally crumb. I'm I'm clumsy. I'm hella clumsy. So. I know. I thought like I'm going down. It's like going down, tuck and roll. This one right here, he will do everything in his power not to fall. So now he's in so much pain, he don't even want to go and get no subway. I told him I would go for him, but he lost his appetite. Huh, Papu. And Diamond's over there having his dinner. My papu, Tay. Poo -poo. Show me your toe. <laughs> oh, walking dead is on. I forgot it's Sunday. Show them your toe. Mm. Uh, uh. It broke. Swear, let me see. Get the toe. Look, at toe. Look at this ugly toe. <laughs> let me see. <laughs> Diamond, we want to see. You know what? Try to see his toe. <laughs> it look nasty. How you feel? How you feeling, baby? I hope your battery dies. Oh, then I just charge it. I'm at home, so we good. Let me pour some alcohol on it. <sighs> but Walking Dead is on. It's like nine. It's supposed to be ten o'clock. We're gonna watch this show and go to bed. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Say night night. Man, I ain't trying to say no right now. <laughs> Bye, y'all. I feel so bad for this poor dog. He's in here by himself, and the windows are up. 
It's like 70 degrees, high 70s, and that poor dog is in there by himself. 